Okay, so this is the second video for Fox Survival Bushcraft. Um, I thought I'd just do a bit of a kit list. Uh, what I've got here, obviously, is my bushcraft knife. Needs a bit of a clean, well used. Um, wasn't very expensive, I think paid about £25 for that. That's done me quite a few years. Um, one important thing, if you're on a budget, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Just because a guy on telly's got a £200 knife, doesn't mean it's going to be the right knife for you. Um, I found this one very good, very reliable. Uh, it's got a leather sheath there for it. I've uh, got a little pocket sharpener here, quite handy. I mean, you can see the size of my hand, takes up no room, nice and light, good for a quick sharpen. Uh, got a folding saw, it's a Bacho Laplander. Um, I paid about 16 quid for that. You can get cheaper versions. Um, this is my machine, that'll come out. Handy little bit of kit for cutting wood and stuff. Uh, again, probably paid about 20 quid for that. Um, my axe, just a little pack axe. Again, less than 20 quid. But, uh, handy little tool. Again, not very big, don't take up a lot of room. Um, this stuff, paracord. Again, go, don't buy expensive stuff. Your pound shop will sell this in packs of about six that size. Doesn't take up any space, light, chuck a load in the bottom of your bag. Never know when you need it. Uh, a pair of leather gloves, always good. You're using fire, you're cooking, you're going to get hot pans, hot kettle. Don't burn your hands, stick a pair of gloves on. You're not a wuss. Uh, got a little torch here. Again, small, less than a tenner, nice and bright. First aid kit here, you've got all your plasters, bandages, scissors, all stuff like that in there. You can add bits when you use stuff, put your own gear in there, just a handy little bag for it. Onto the water stuff, come out of the sun. These little NATO bottles, very good, seven quid maybe. Nice, get a fair bit of water in them. These ones, a little bit more, they're a tenner, but you've got uh, the advantage, you've got a metal cup in the bottom there. It's quite handy for boiling water. And these aluminium bottles, again, lightweight, cheap, pound shop thing. Um, you can boil water in them as well. This here is a mill bank. Some of you know what that is, some of you won't. It's basically for filtering dirty water from a river. Um, you can filter all the debris out of that, but boil your water afterwards. That won't kill any bacteria, that'll just filter the crap out basically. Uh, over here, doesn't need a lot to explain. Fold and shovel, toilet roll. That's probably one video I won't do a demonstration on for you. Um, on the food after that, lovely. Little set here, you've got your fork, spoon, bottle opener, and in one of these sides, knife in there as well. So it's your knife, spoon, fork. Again, there's expensive versions, but these ones cost me a couple of quid each. Mess tints, always handy. Get a couple in there, they're packed down. Good for just uh, cooking some eggs in and stuff and whatever. Use them as your plate as well. You haven't got to buy plates as well. Just eat straight out of the tin. This is a handy bit of kit. That's my little grill. That'll sit over the fire. I can use that as a pot stand. Just uh, rather than trying to balance things. Also, Stick some sausages on there, have a little barbecue. Don't know where you can see that on there, but yeah, only a little grill. Less than a ten of that one cost me. So if it burns, I'll buy another one. Then your pot, five piece set is probably a good handy one to have. You got your lid, doubles as a frying pan. Your 
pan grip. <laughs> Very well burnt kettle. Still works. And a couple of decent size need a wash saucepans. Right, I've got my bag. It's a British Army Bergen. Get plenty of gear in there. I'll get all my gear in there, what I've brought here, plus more. A uh, very handy bit of kit. And then uh, I've set up my sleep area. I'll just talk you through that. Again, quite basic. All I've got here is a basher. Use a tarp. Just tied up the top. About waist height. And pegged on all three other corners. Let's the rain run off if you get any. And then I've got my Gore-Tex bivvy inside that. This is my summer sleeping bag. It's July 2013. It's bloody hot at the moment. I've got a winter one as well. Ex-Army. Gore-Tex bag, 30 quid. Sleeping bag, about 20 quid. I've got a British Army woolen blanket under there. There's a bit of insulation. I don't know what that was, 15 at the most, 15 quid at the most. And my mat underneath that, which is a fold flat mat. Uh, I like them because they fold up flat in your bag rather than a big round mat roll. But whatever your budget is, use it. So that's about it. Thank you.